The immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm sharing something truly terrible with you. I pulled out of my game collection one of my weirdest, most oddball, and terrible complete collections that I have, and that's the Memorex Video Information System, or VIS. That's right. I want to showcase kind of what a complete collection looks like. Today I'm also going to boot up the sampler, showcase that. Let's check it out. So here it is, the Tandy video information system, complete collection, including many extras. And so this is by far probably the worst console in my collection. You know, that's not a pirate, that's not a clone, that actually came out, It actually was marketed in the US, was actually sold in stores. Believe it or not, this came out in 1992, sold by Radio Shack tried to be sold by Radio Shack, and it only sold about 11,000 units. It was terrible. Here's the actual system. As you can see, it kind of looks like a VCR player, but it's not. I found one of these locally at a pawn shop a long time ago. This one was actually ordered from a place, I'm gonna put a link below. It's still around and selling this stuff. Can't believe it. It actually had a memory card called the Save It, and it goes in the front here and you save that way came with a wireless controller one and two player and it actually didn't come bundled with a game it came with compton's multimedia encyclopedia very tough to get actually and a sampler which i'm going to show uh one of the half games on it that uh came bundled with it. Using the DigiPress Advanced Guide, Digital Press Advanced Guide, DigiPress lists 27 games as part of the set. So I'm gonna go off their list. And the, the list is as follows. Victor Vector, Bible Lands, Bible Stories, Fitness Partner, Great Lives Series, Kid Fun, Learn to Play Guitar, Lynx, which is actually an actual game, Manhole, great name, Meeting of the Minds, Mosaic Magic, Math Challenge, Word Challenge, my paint playing with language english french german japanese and spanish race the clock rick rabbit rodney's fun screen sail with columbus the secrets of jose freeman sherlock holmes consulting detective one and two Smart Kids Challenge 1 and Talking Stepping Stones bonus pack. There's several other things that were sold for the Memorex video information system. And so there's also these titles and it's also important to note that it's easy to tell it was for the video information system because in the corner on both the CD case and the box has that logo. So you have American Space, the American Space, American Vista, New Basics Electronic Cookbook, Better Homes and Gardens Healthy Cooking CD Cookbook. You have December 24th, looks like a story, Our House, another audio story with probably graphics, astrology source, timetable of history, science and innovation, timetable of history, arts and entertainment, American heritage, illustrated encyclopedia, dictionary, wild animals, the atlas of US presidents, multimedia animals encyclopedia, Henry and Mudge, the first book, Search for the Sea, which I hear is terrible. <laughs> America's Parks. 
And then these all were scored in a thrift store in I do believe Utah. And it's kids can read some different titles. All complete. Now, if you're wanting to know kind of what inside this long box, you open it up and it's a, typically a jewel case. And it has this in the corner and you open it up and it looks like that. The sampler has some pretty interesting things on the disc. There's a little interaction you can do with this like bird mascot, which is silly. You have previews and demos. I'm gonna go ahead and show previews first. And what I like about this is it showcases some upcoming titles that never came to be. And I think the idea for the VIS was that people and developers could use an IBM PC as a development unit and port over because it had the same architecture as a computer computer titles because on here is King's Quest 5 and I think there was plans possibly to port it over but due to maybe low sales maybe it never came to be but you know the the VIS was kind of a, a downscaled computer without all the the options and great benefits of having a computer you know and here it is King's Quest 5 and so this is on here planned to come out and it never did It'd be cool to see if the, there was actual <clears throat> this software of King's Quest V floating around. And so here it is. Here's video of it. I don't know if this was taken directly from the computer, but King's Quest V. And it just never came to be and never was released. And there's Space Quest IV. You go to other demos. Now, again, the only way my controller is working is you have to make sure that the controller is in front of the console. And the only, one of the only real games, ironically, wasn't released. And it's just a demo form. It's on the sampler. And it's a simple shooter, kind of like Mega Mania. Let me go ahead and show it to you. Love that font, Space Nuts. Takes a little bit to load. There is a Hall of Fame high score challenge. All right, press A to start. And it plays a lot like Mega Mania. You have waves and waves of some abstract enemies, but you are moving. Hold down, it saves, uh, saves your controller a little bit if you hold down the fire button. I just happen to have a working controller. <laughs> One of my controllers not working, so I was just glad my backup was. This controller's just, you know, not the best. Early wireless technology is not like it is today. Welcome to the new age of information, VIS, the Video Information System. Just connect VIS to any TV in your home and get ready to visit faraway worlds, world of knowledge that truly comes alive through sight and sound, VIS. A couple facts about the console that I have. I purchased this from a website that's still around. It looks like it's from the 90s. The link is below. And... You know what? This is a terrible, terrible console. I can't recommend this to anybody, to be honest. If you want to check it out, you can purchase games for it. The console itself is really hard to get, including the box. The memory cartridges are uncommon, and controllers range in price. But really, as, as someone who's just passionate about the history of video games, that's the only reason why I have this. It's not like I, I bust this out and play it but it's pretty bizarre. It's a footnote in multimedia technology. You know, it was a copycat of the CDTV and the Philips CDI, you know, that early 90s technology, and it just, it totally failed. It came out 700 bucks. 
It quickly was slashed down to the price of $399. Sold only at Radio Shack, this thing did not sell well at all and was quickly liquidated. The link below is to a website that got some of that liquidated inventory and is still selling it today. Only 11,000 units were reportedly sold at Radio Shack in its lifetime. Holy cow, that has got to be one of the worst selling consoles of all time. So there you have it. This is a terrible console. I thought I'd share it with you and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for the ongoing support of my channel. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the Immortal John Hancock. You take care.